still waiting to learn the name of the man who deputies say opened fire on a driver is along Georgia 365, wounding two men in two separate vehicles. The accused gunman died just a few hours ago after shooting himself in the head while trying to escape from deputies and state troopers. Now we are expecting an update from Hall County officials tomorrow morning and our 24 seven digital team will bring you the latest on 11 alive.com. We are also trying to untangle a deadly triple shooting inside a Northwest Atlanta apartment. Two women and a man were found dead this afternoon in the 1800 block of Newman Place. The mother of one of the victims tells 11 Alive her daughter was trying to leave an abusive relationship with the man and her friend was there to help her. But the man's family says that's not true and Atlanta police haven't officially ruled this a murder suicide. Well, trouble in paradise tonight, the most powerful earthquake to hit Hawaii's big island in more than 40 years after a series of small quakes. And all this just hours after the Kalua volcano erupted, shooting lava 125 feet into the air, pouring fire onto the streets below. Hundreds of locals and tourists have been forced to evacuate and at least two homes have been destroyed. And some much needed good news tonight. Former President George H.W. Bush is out of the hospital. He was released from Houston Methodist Hospital just hours ago after 13 days of treatment. He was admitted on April 27th, 22nd, the day after his wife Barbara's funeral for a blood infection. And the 93 year old is reportedly looking forward to spending time at the family's vacation home in Kinnon Buckport, Maine. Vinny. Yeah, it's nice to see him out. Thanks so much, Letitia. You betcha.